Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this animated home page to your blogger website. So this is the blogger website where we're going to add the animated home page. Now when someone goes to this link over here, they should be redirected to a new page. And in that page, we will add this design right here. And I showed you how to design this from scratch using HTML and CSS in one of my previous videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let's get started. Right, so here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. Let's go ahead and create a new page. So let's go to pages and let's create a new page for the custom home page. So let's click on new page and uh, we'll just give it a title of home. And uh, here we need to add the HTML of our design. But for now, we'll just type testing and uh, I'll also go to options and click on do not allow or hide existing comments. And now let's click on publish and confirm. And here we can see the home page has been created. Let's go ahead and view this page. So let's click on this view button. Now here we can see the page that we created. Now we have to redirect the user to this page right here when they go to the home page. So for that, let's go back to the dashboard and uh, let's go to settings and let's scroll down. And here under errors and redirects, we have this option called custom redirects. So let's click on that and let's click on add. And uh, here let's add the home page. Now we don't need to add the complete URL, you can just type forward slash and here in the two we need to add the link of the page. So let's copy this uh, from here and uh, let's paste it over here and uh, let's click on permanent and click on OK. And now let's click on save and the custom redirect has been added. Let's click on it once more and we have two forward slashes over here. So let's click on that and uh, let's remove one from here. All right. So now let's click on OK and save it right now let's go back to our uh, website and uh, let's go to the home page and let's see whether we are being redirected to the new page so let's hit enter and here we can see we are being redirected to this new page when we go to the home page and the custom redirect is working all right so let's go back to our page and uh, let's add the html so let's go to the home page and you have to make sure that you are in the html view so here there are two views one is compose view and the other is the HTML view. So you have to go to the HTML view. All right now let's go to our source code. So this is the source code. I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's copy this uh, division from here till here. And uh, let's copy it and paste it over here inside the page. Now here we can see there's an IMG tag and in that we have the link of the image. But in our blogger website we don't have this folder called images and we also don't have this uh, image called snowflake so we have to upload the image to our blogger website so let's click on this button called insert image and uh, we'll click on upload from computer and uh, let's click on choose files and uh, this is the image folder so let's select this uh, main bg image and also the snowflake.png image so let's click on open and uh, let's select both of these images and click on select and we will select the original size and click on OK. So here we can see both the images have been inserted. So let's go to the snowflake image. So here we can see this is the link of the snowflake.png image. So let's copy this from here. And let's add it over here instead of this link right here. We will add the same link to all the other IMG tags. Right, I have updated the link of all the images. Now let's go ahead and add the CSS. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's go to theme and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And just scroll down a little bit and you'll be able to find the CSS. So this is all the CSS of the theme. So let's scroll down and go to the end of the CSS. And this is where the CSS ends. So let's make some space over here and I'll just add a comment. So I'll just type custom homepage. And let's add the CSS over here. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to style.css and let's copy all the CSS we need. So here we can see we have added this font family to the body. Now we're not going to add the font family pop-ins to the body in our blogger website because it can affect everything else in our website. So let's cut this from here and let's add it to the container division. All right, so let's copy everything from here to the end of the CSS. And these last lines of CSS are for a different method that I showed you in my design video. 
So we just need to copy everything till here. That is the end of this keyframes. Right, once you have copied this, let's paste it over here inside the blogger theme code. And here we need to update the link of the image. So here we can see we have this background image URL and uh, we have to add the link of the main BG. So let's go back over here. And here we have already inserted the image. So let's copy this URL from here and uh, let's paste it over here. Now, since we have added this Poppins font over here, we also need to add the link of the font. So let's scroll all the way to the top and uh, let's go to the head section. So this is the head section. So in here, I will just paste the link of the fonts. So let's go back to our HTML. And here at the top, we can see that we have these links for the font. So let's copy this and let's paste it in here. And we also need to make some changes over here. We need to close all these tags. So let's add forward slash and even over here and even over here. And here we need to type equals true. And we also need to change this ampersand symbol to ampersand AMP semicolon. Right now let's click on save and let's go back to our page and let's delete these two links from here and let's click on update. Right now let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page and here we can see at the top we have this image being displayed and if we scroll down we can see that the animation and everything is working all right. But at the top, we have this image being displayed. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And here you can see we have a division with the class of container over here in our blogger theme. And in the CSS, we just added this background image to the container class. So wherever we have the container class, this image will be added. So we need to make some changes to our class name. So let's go back to our page. And here instead of container, we will just type my container so that it will be different from the theme code. So let's click on update. And we have to make the changes in our CSS as well. So let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's go to the CSS. And here instead of container, we have to change it to my container. So let's add my over here. And I'll just copy this and paste it in place of all the containers. Alright, we have replaced all the containers to my container. And I'll also comment this animation right now so that we don't have any distractions uh, in our design. So I'll just type forward slash asterisk and uh, close it over here. And let's save it. And let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And now we don't have the background image being displayed over here. Now here we can see there are a lot of things that we need to remove from here. So what we'll do is we'll create a body class. So whenever we have this page being displayed, we will add a body class. So I'll just show you what is a body class. So right click over here and click on inspect. And if we scroll up, we can see that we have this body tag over here. And in that we have these classes right now, item view and the version number. Now when we are on this particular page, we're going to add a new class over here. For example, let's say custom home page. Now this class will only be added to the body when we are on this page. So for that, let's go back to our template code and uh, let me show you how to add a body class. So let's scroll down and let's go to the start of the body tag. So I'll just search for it. So I'll just press Ctrl F and here I'll just type body. Now here we can see these lines of code. These are all body classes. So here what they are doing is that they are using a condition. So here we can see there is a condition called data view is single item. So if it is a single item, for example, if it is a page or a post, then this class over here called item view will be added to the parent. So the parent of this line over here is this body right here. So this class item V will be added to the body. Now in the same way, let's add a body class over here. So I'll just type B colon class C O N D. And our condition is that uh, the current URL should be this right here. So let's copy this URL from here and uh, let's go back to our code. And here we need to type data colon blog dot URL equals and here we'll just add the link inside double quotes and I'll just close this with a single quote and then we need to add the name. So let's type name and we'll just give it a class of custom home page. So here we can see we have this condition which is uh, the blog URL should be this right here. And if the condition is true, then uh, this class which is custom home page will be added to the parent which is the body. Right now let's see whether it works. So let's save it. 
and let's go back to our custom home page and let's refresh it and we have an error over here we need to add two equals so let's go back here we need to add two equals instead of one all right so let's save it and let's go back and refresh and now let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's go to the body and here we can see we have this class called custom home page and if you go to any other page so let's go to this page right here and let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's go to the body and here we can see we don't have the custom home page class we have the custom home page class only when we are on this page right here so here we can see the custom home page class All right now this class will make it easier for us to have a different design for this page right here so we can add different CSS that will apply only if we have the class custom home page in the body All right now let's go ahead and remove all the unnecessary elements from here so first of all we will remove this uh, popular post widget from here so let's right click over here and click on inspect here we can see we have this division with the class of widget and popular post and we also have an ID popular post one so let's target this so let's go back to our template code and let's go to the CSS so here we will type body dot custom home page and here we will type hash popular post one so here we can see we have this division and we have this ID popular post one and here we will just type display of none and let's save it and see whether it works let's go back to our page and let's refresh it and here we can see the popular post is not being displayed now in the same way let's hide all the other elements so let's right click over here and click on inspect and this is the footer so let's add the footer as well so let's go back to our CSS and here I'll just add a comma and I'll just type body dot custom home page and here I'll just type footer and let's go back and here also we will add display of none and the next thing we need to hide is this header so let's right click over here and inspect and here we can see we have this header with the class of centered top container so let's target that so here I'll just type body dot custom home page and we'll type centered top container and I'll also add the display of none over here now let's scroll down and scroll back up and here we can see we have this header displayed over here again now this is a division with the class of centered top placeholder so let's add this as well so here I'll just type body dot custom home page centered top placeholder and I'll also add it over here All right now the next thing we will hide is this title over here so let's right click and inspect over here and we have this s3 with the class of post title so let's target that here I'll just type display of none and here I'll just type body custom home page post title and I will also remove the share buttons from here so here also we have the share button at the bottom and we also have it at the top so let's right click and inspect and uh, let's scroll up and here we have this post bottom so let's add display of none so let's add this as well post bottom body dot custom home page post bottom and uh, then here at the top we have the post share button so let's right click and inspect and here we have this post share buttons so let's type display of none so let's add that over here body dot custom home page post share buttons and at the bottom we have this line over here so let's right click and see what it is it's a section with the class and ID of comments so let's target that as well so here I'll just type body dot custom home page hash comments right now let's save the CSS and let's refresh this page and we can see that everything is working all right now let's add some more CSS and make it look exactly like this so let's right click over here and inspect and let's scroll all the way to the top and uh, over here we have page body and in that we have this division with the class of centered and if I scroll down over here we can see that in the CSS we have this max width of 922 so let's set the max width to 100% and now we can see that we have a max width of 100% for this element so let's copy this uh, 
selector from here and let's go back to our CSS and here we'll just type body dot custom home page and we'll paste the selector and here we'll just type max width of 100% now we are adding this body dot custom home page over here because we want to have this CSS only for this page right here so it will not affect any other page let's see what else we need to do so let's go back to the centered division and here we also have some padding so we also need to remove the padding so I'll just set the padding to 0 let's go back over here and uh, here we will just type padding 0 and uh, now let's move down and uh, here you can see we have this main with a class of centered bottom and for that also we have a padding of 0 16 so let's remove the padding from here let's copy this selector as well and uh, let's type body dot custom home page and paste it over here and here we'll just type padding 0 right now let's move down and here we can see we have this division with the class of widget and here also we have a margin of 16 pixels at the bottom so let's remove this margin as well right so let's copy this selector and uh, let's go over here and here we'll just type body custom home page paste it over here and uh, we will set the margin to 0 All right now let's move down a little bit more here we have this article with a class of post outer container and uh, in that we have this padding of 30 pixels and 40 pixels so let's remove that as well so I'll just copy this selector and here we already have this line of CSS for the padding so let's add a comma and here we'll just type body custom home page and paste it over here and the last thing we need to do is remove this uh, margin right now let's scroll down and here we can see we have this division with the class of post body and in that we have this margin so let's remove this margin from here so let's copy this selector and uh, let's go over here and uh, I'll just add a comma over here and we'll just type body dot custom home page and paste it over here and I think that's it with the CSS so let's uncomment this uh, animation and uh, let's save it and uh, let's go back to our home page and uh, let's refresh this page and I think something has gone wrong so let's right click and see what's the problem and uh, here we have this article with a class of post outer container and for that we still have this padding over here so I think we have to select this whole thing from here so I'll just copy this and go back to our uh, CSS and I'll just paste it over here and uh, let's save it and uh, let's refresh this page and now we can see everything works all right we don't have any problems now we can also add a button over here to take us to the index page of all the blog posts let's do that so let's go over here and uh, let's copy this button from here and I'll just paste it down here and here in the href we just copy this uh, link from here and paste it over here and here we'll type index.html so this will show us the list of all the blog posts and we'll also add some margin for this button so let's go over here to our CSS and uh, here for the button we'll just type margin right of 20 pixels and uh, let's update this and also save this right now let's refresh this page and uh, I think we need to change this text so we'll just change it to blog post and update it so let's refresh this and here we can see we have these two buttons and when we click on this blog post button we are taken to the list of all our blog posts and everything works all right for all the other pages in our website but if you go to the home page we are redirected to this page over here where we have this animated home page so that's basically how you can add an animated home page to your blogger website so that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code and also the design video in the description of this video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day
Thank you.